it's the finalists' last chance to impress in Lima. Welcome to the Lima Country Club Hotel. Built in 1927, it has been declared a cultural monument by the Peruvian government. Tonight, you are cooking a VIP dinner for some of Lima's top chefs, including your mentors, Gaston and Virgilio. Oh. <laughs> you will be cooking your own food, but that food needs to reflect what you've learnt so far on this journey. It needs to have the flavours of Peru. Our dinner is in three hours. I suggest you get on with it. Off you go. Drawing on their experience, the finalists have each created a dish for tonight's dinner. David is making an avocado and prawn ceviche, which he's going to roll and completely encase in raw sea bass. I'm making a cannelloni out of fish, basically. Just flavours they eat every day around here and things that they'll know, they'll recognise, but they've probably never seen it like this. To accompany the ceviche, he's serving a tomato and chilli raspadilla sorbet. A you know, sorbet on a starter is a, is a strange thing to begin with, and then to put chilli in it is probably even more strange. I just want to give the diners an interesting experience. I just want to excite their taste buds in a good way, obviously. All of those diners will have eaten a ceviche. What's the chances do you think that they've had one with a sorbet? Zero. Kenny has designed a dish around local seafood. He's making pan-fried sea bass, grilled octopus, and a sea urchin tempura. I want the diners to think of the sea, thinking about Peru and the local produce. So I just want them to see that I've listened and I've learned along the way, and it's not just me coming here, writing all that off and doing my own things. The fish will be served with a cake made from a Peruvian staple. Corn's a real big influence out here, so I wanted to make sure I do something a bit special with it. It's just a, something in my mind that should hopefully work. <laughs> Inspired by the multicultural influences in Peruvian cuisine, Naumen is making pork two ways. A pork shoulder marinated in chili and coconut milk, and crispy pork belly. So I blanch the skin in hot water so it gets uh, crispier in the oven. This is my granddad recipe, so that's why I have to do this um, today. Tell me about the dish, because you've got what looks like Thai influences, including coconut milk and, and lime leaf and lemongrass, but then lots and lots of different types of chilies. I'm using four types of Peruvian chilies. This is my take on Peruvian cuisine. So I put my thumb, which is Thai food, and the multicultural of Peruvian cuisine. Alex is making a dessert based around two of Peru's favorite ingredients, chocolate and chili. She's making a chili chocolate ganache, which will be served on a chocolate biscuit base and a dulce de leche ice cream. Dulce de leche is like condensed caramelized milk, so it's quite sweet, but I'm not going to put too much of it in my ice cream because I want it to be quite a nice complement to the chocolate. Alex, tell me about chocolate and chilies. I'm not going to put that much chilli in, but it's going to be enough to give the rich chocolate a bit of warmth. The um, RG Pancha chilies are quite smoky as well, so I'm hoping it's going to add something to the bit of chocolate. I'm also using pisco to drown some golden raisins. There's going to be some boozy like fruit on there as well. Guys. One hour on that first course. David? Yes, Chef. 
David's prawn and avocado ceviche is ready to be rolled in the strips of raw sea bass. So just try to get this as even as I can, and then I can cut it into rectangles, place the fill in, and then roll it up. With the ceviche wrapped in sea bass, he now gets his tomato and chili sorbet in to freeze. I am slightly nervous about it. When you freeze it, you lose the sweetness, so it actually tastes more chili. It's the idea. With service fast approaching, Kenny still needs to make two sauces to go with his seafood, a red pepper chili sauce and a green chili emulsion. I've never known time to go so fast. Just going like water. So I'm worried about everything. I'm worried about it all coming together on time. I'm going to push on. On dessert, Alex's dulce de leche ice cream is ready. But she now needs to get her chili chocolate ganache into moulds ready for setting. It's going OK. I've tasted everything as I've gone along. The chili and the chocolate's nice and balanced. I'm just hoping that my ganache sets. I've got a little while longer, about half an hour, so it should be OK. Naomin's pork belly, infused with soy and chili, has been roasting for two hours. Why? <laughs> made the chili! That pig is on fire. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> pig on fire. He's serving it with a Peruvian street food, taku taku, refried beans and rice. So I just want to do my take of taku taku. So I'm going to jazz it up a bit, my deep fry, so it's crispy outside and soft inside. Attending tonight's dinner are mentor Virgilio, his wife Pia, who is head chef at Central, and his sister Milena. Also dining is Gaston Acurio and Roberto Grau, a prominent Lima chef. Our four right here, right now, have to cook the most fantastic food. Impressing the best chefs in the country will not be easy, but we know how talented they are. Ten minutes, mate. So everything on a tray and then up to the pass for me, OK? David's ceviche cannelloni will be first to go out. Well, you know, it sounds a bit risky. Uh, he's doing ceviche and sashimi. The good ceviche is the one that has the uh, perfect balance between acidity and spiciness and freshness. Oh, yeah. Go on, son. I just can't wait to see the raspadilla sorbet. There you go. Looks great. Service, please. They look fantastic. Well done, David. I'm proud of you, son. Proud of you. Great Good. job. Feeling relieved, to say the least. I'm pleased it's gone. It's like I get your school report, isn't it? Should be all right, but it could be terrible. <laughs> David has served his take on Peru's national dish, a prawn and avocado ceviche wrapped in sea bass sashimi, served with a tomato and chili raspadilla or sorbet, a prawn and sweet corn oil, and a green chili mayonnaise. Well, this is avant-garde, right? <laughs> this is modern Peruvian cuisine, actually, yeah? I think the sorbet is actually really nice, and the fish and the prawn oil are really good, well together. Maybe for me, there was too much fish, maybe a little more thinner, but I really like it. Actually, I don't see this as a ceviche, because there is a lack of tiger's milk, a lack of acidity. I think maybe it needs a, a sauce with the acidity. If you 
handle the balance, it could be an amazing dish, actually. David's really pushed himself. I think he's been really risky with this dish. I think there's a lot of big flavours in there. That, to me, sums up the culinary melting pot that is Peru. Kenny, ten minutes. Fish on, please, my friend. No, friends. no, 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 no. As well as cooking the octopus and the sea bass, Kenny is attempting to tempura sea urchin. Go, six plates, let's go. Who's the guy who does that? Picasso. <laughs> go on, son. Very modern, very modern. He has to try to cook very well the sea bass. Then he has to fry the sea urchin in a tempura way. And then he has to grill the octopus, so that's difficult. I like Kenny, so please, Kenny, do it well. Looking nice, Kenny. Great job. Well done. OK, service on four, please. Oh, my God, that was so, so intense. I feel a little bit bamboozled. Kenny has made pan-fried sea bass, grilled octopus and a sea urchin tempura with a corn cake, a green chilli emulsion and a ricotto pepper and chilli sauce. Corn cake is delicious. It's creamy, it's perfect. The fish is, is cooked almost perfect. It's a lovely dish. I don't know if it's because of, of our passion about corn, but, but yeah, I mean, like, this corn cake is just great. It was a challenge to mix all these ingredients together, and, and I thought he did good, so I like the dish. You can really tell the influences that Kenny has got from this journey. His octopus is nice and soft. I really like the cornbread. I think the sauces are good. And it's the first bit of sea urchin tempura I've ever had. I really like that dish. Very modern, very clever. Four minutes now, I'm in. Go, 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 yeah. Now I mean, he's like a very confident guy, so I got a feeling that he's gonna surprise us. Brew we love pork. He puts also taku taco, which is something that in Lima we love a lot. So I think this is a dish everybody will love. A lot of chili, so hope it's not going to be too much spicy. That looks fantastic now. I mean, I don't mind selling you. So is. <laughs> I'm very happy with every single element on the dish. And I love my chili, so I hope they loved it. Naomin's Thai Peruvian fusion dish is chili infused roasted pork belly and coconut milk, lemongrass, and chili marinated pork shoulder, served with a deep fried rice and bean taku taku and a chili and toasted rice sauce. I can see this plate in a nice restaurant, so it's a good impression. Mm. Mm. The mix of the taco taco with mm. the Thai sauce, with the Peruvian chilies, mm. delicious. Congratulations, it's a wonderful dish. The way he's cooking the pork belly is really good. He has achieved a level where I can see Peru mixed with uh, Southeast a Asia. We need the recipe of the sauce uh, from this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he really nailed it. Yeah, yeah, I really liked it. I love Naomi's use of chili. I think this is a crackingly good job, actually. Naomi, crackingly good job. Finally, it's Alex's dessert. OK, Alex. Yep. Go for it. Six, please. Hey! 
if they balance the sweetness of everything. I think this is going to be a, a, good, a good dessert. OK, what's to go now? Just got the bee pollen, uh, the ice cream and the syrup. Love bee pollen. Love bee pollen. That looks great. Yeah, it looks great. That looks great. Well thought out. Service, please. I'm going to go into the um, freezer now, just go to on stand in. there. Go put your in the freezer and cool down. This is like my... I love it in here. I'm happy that the dishes went out on time. They were looking good, in my opinion, so I fingers crossed that they like the flavours. Alex has made a Peruvian chili chocolate ganache on a dark chocolate biscuit base served with boozy raisins, a dolce de leche ice cream topped with bee pollen and a cinnamon and orange syrup. The ganache is, is actually very good. Um, I think she has chosen very good quality cacao. The raisins are good. The ice cream is good. For somebody that loves desserts, this is perfect. Overall, I think it's, it's a very nice dessert, so I really liked it. I think it's great. I mean, look, you take chocolate and chilli, and you've got a bit of magic. That is a lovely little delicate chocolatey way of finishing this evening. I mean, that's lovely. First of all, thank you very much. Congratulations. We felt really as Peruvians honored because all of you used Peruvian ingredients, Peruvian traditions. We had a wonderful meal. Thank you. Thank you for your help and your, um, you know, the time you spent with us. And it's something that we will carry in our hearts forever. You know, the five of us, we are very proud of your, your work. It's been an incredible journey with a truly amazing world cuisine. I'm really proud of them, John. <laughs> I'll think about this for the rest of my life. Stuff of dreams, really, and I'll, I'll never forget this experience. I had no idea about Peru before flying here. It's absolutely incredible. I have learned a lot. The fatigue setting in now, it's been three really hard days with three absolutely incredible days. It's just been phenomenal. My hands are burnt, I'm tired, but I feel brilliant. It's just been a mind-blowing experience. I think our four have done brilliantly well on this trip to Peru, I really do. But very soon, we have to crown one of them champion. And right now, it's anybody's game. Tomorrow night, the four finalists attempt to master the dishes of a world-renowned two Michelin star chef. It is so tense in here, it is unfunny. Before cooking off for a place in the last three. That is sensational.